Unreal, Hillary Clinton issues shockingly stupid threat against special prosecutor, it's finally over. Axios reported on Wednesday that Hillary Clinton has come up with a really bizarre reason why she should have to face a special prosecutor for her dealings with Russia on the Uranium One scandal. She says that if a special prosecutor were named, it would have a chilling effect on future Democrats who sell out their country for cold hard cash. She said that would be the mark of an authoritarian regime. Of course it's all a matter of perception and what the definition of the word is is. What we see as corruption, she sees as a perk of her job at the State Department. Earlier this year, Hillary floated the idea of becoming a minister. I can see the church billboard now. We welcome all denominations. But we like the millionaire denomination the best. Gee, how big would a collection plate have to be to hold $145 million? Hillary told Mother Jones. If they send a signal that we are going to be like some dictatorship, like some authoritarian regime, where political opponents are going to be unfairly, fraudulently investigated, that trips at the fabric of the contract we have, that we can trust our justice system, it will be incredibly demoralizing to people who have served at the Justice Department, under both Republicans and Democrats, because they know better. But it will also send a terrible signal to our country and the world that somehow we are giving up on the kind of values that we used to live by and we used to promote worldwide. Hillary, we are only saying this because we really truly care, but crack kills, babe. If you really want to avoid a special prosecutor in the future, the best way to do that is to quit breaking the law. Really. You should try it. It's just crazy enough that it might just work. Washington could not tell a lie. Obama could not tell the truth. Hillary can't tell the difference. From the Daily Caller Clinton's comments are regarding her time serving as Secretary of State. Russia routed millions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation, and former President Bill Clinton collected hundreds of thousands of dollars in Russian-speaking fees as part of Russian efforts to influence the U.S. government to approve the deal, The Hill reported. Republican chairmen of two House committees announced in late October they would launch a probe into a Uranium One deal and former President Barack Obama aired Justice Department's investigation of the deal. Hillary Clinton has come up with dozens of reasons why she lost. But the truth is, she was outworked by President Trump. While Hillary would cancel trips to various states for big money fundraisers or would take off three or four days from campaigning, President Trump was a human dynamo meeting with voters in four or five cities every day. In the end, big money donors have just one vote, the same as any blue-collar worker, but the difference is there are so many more of them.